Welcome back, welcome back, beloved, to another Brother Reigns podcast. And in today's podcast, we're going to talk about how to defeat Satan for good into your life. We all know that God has the last say so, not just of your life, but my life in this world. One of Satan's greatest weapons is your mind and your flesh. He likes to let you be comfortable in your mind and in your flesh. Satan is the deceiver of this world, the Bible says. He can make you think that everything's good and dandy here on earth. So, beloved, I would like to share with you a scripture to take with you. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3. But before we get into the scripture, let us pray. And then I want to bless you at the end of this podcast. And here go a scripture to back it up. But first, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray you use me for your glory, Father God. Use my mouthpiece to spread your word in the bible i pray that whoever listens to this video come out changed i pray that the words that are coming through my mouth and the scriptures that you provide can change people and open their minds and their heart to you father god in jesus mighty name amen amen so let's get into this scripture second corinthians eleven three, and it states this second corinthians eleven three. you can read it in your leisure or you can pause the video and open the Bible for yourself. But I am afraid. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. What is afraid? Being afraid is having fear. And Satan is the king of fear. He wants you to be afraid. That's one of Satan's tricks is fear. And I'm going to continue on with the scripture. It says, but I am afraid that the serpent deceive Eve by his craftiness. Let's pause right there. I like to dissect the scriptures and I hope this helps you a lot. Who was the serpent? Satan. Just like in the book of Genesis, the serpent came to Eve. And the word is deceive means is to trick you, to lie. Deception is one of another trick that Satan provides is to trick you, to lie to you. And Eve, she was the mother of earth. She was the first that Adam created. Let's continue on. By his craftiness. Your minds will lead you astray. I'm going to stop right there. By his craftiness, your minds will lead astray. That means that he's getting into your mind with deception. And craftiness is tricky. It's something that's a trickster. It's something that tries to fool you. Let's continue on. And it says, your minds will be led astray from the simplicity. The simplicity means something simple, simple and purity of devotion of Christ is what the rest of the scripture says. God is not a hard God. The Lord, he's not hard. He is something pure. And simple by loving your neighbor. It's simple by following him. It's simple by letting him lead your life. That is simple. But Satan, he makes it hard for you. And that's what he is about. He is about to make everything hard for you and your life and your loved one's life. He like to bring all kinds of drama to your life he liked to bring all kinds of deception to your life to your family's life and craftiness to trick you to think that you're doing good 
If you're comfortable in this world, Satan has you already. This world is not meant for you to be comfortable in. We're just passing through. Your flesh is temporarily, your body is temporarily, but your spirit still lives on. And where do you want to go? God give us free will. You can either go down there, join Satan, which is not going to last long. Because Jesus will come back and destroy him and put him in the bottomless pit, the Bible says in Revelations. I don't want to go there. Or you can go with God through Jesus up in heaven. You don't ever have to suffer. You don't ever have to shed a tear. You will never have to be hungry. You will never be sick. Now remember, Satan is the opposite of that. This is a spiritual battle with you, with your soul. And Satan is cunning. And Satan, he's like a thief. In this world, he's here to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus is here to give you life and peace. One of God's greatest weapons that he gave you is prayer, is communication. If we did not have communication with God, we will all be doomed. We will all be in trouble. This world would cease to exist of goodness. Goodness do not come from Satan, guys. That is not Satan. Bad comes from Satan. Evil comes from Satan. Demons come from Satan. And I'm just here to share with you that Satan is the opposite of good. Bad is temporarily Good is forever. You can be happy forever, but you can't do bad forever. You cannot go, for example, rob banks and think you won't get caught. But you could go and love on people forever. You could go and smile forever. You could go and bless somebody forever. That is good. Bad is not the answer, bad only leads to destruction of your soul, your body, your mind, and heart. That is a good example. Because the thief that robs the bank is going to eventually get caught. We have law enforcement that can catch you. But somebody that goes and bless somebody, that is good. You could do that forever. I'd rather do good forever Instead of doing bad for temporarily. That's why it says bad can be for temporarily pleasures. That's why Satan is so cunning. He makes you think your flesh is the ruler. The ruler of not just you but you in this world. He tries to make you think that you don't have a soul or a spirit. By the flesh. By temptation, by wickedness, by materials, by idolizing materials, idolizing to be a millionaire, idolizing to be get this big house. And the world pushes that towards your eyes and your ears so that it will go into your mind. That's how Satan works. If Satan can get to your eyes, inside your eyes, and your ears, what you hear, he can get into your mind and next, your heart. So, I want to leave out with you a blessing. I want to pray for you. And those who are listening that needs a prayer, that's living in a sin life, that is struggling with temptation, that is struggling with the world, that is struggling with sickness, that is struggling with sin itself, I want to leave out with you a prayer of salvation. And for now, my videos will leave out with prayer 
of salvation because a lot of videos that are on this uh, platform do not leave out with that. So remember 2 Corinthians 11.3, read that to your leisure, rewind this video, pause this video and get it out and, and study it yourself. That's how Satan is. Now, before I get off here, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you the most powerful weapon that God gave us to defeat Satan. And that is to stay in prayer. Then you will overcome Satan's schemes, his tools, and his weapons, which is this world. Let's pray before we get out of here. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I was uh, on a hyenas for a week or two, but I'm back and I'm going to push out more content. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, and Father God, thank you for I have fallen. Father God, I have sinned against you. And Father God, I want to confess my sins. I want to come to you, Father God. And Father God, I believe your Lord you are my Lord and Savior, your son, Jesus Christ, that died on a cross and rose on the third day for my sins, my salvation. I believe and I allow Jesus to come into my heart as my Lord and personal Savior. I confess my sins to Jesus. Heal me, Jesus, from the temptation and the idols of this world. And Father God, I believe you're in your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Those who pray that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. You are my brother or sister in Christ. So I just want to leave that out with you. And I will have another video next Saturday. A part two. Thank you, and remember to subscribe, like this video, run us up. God bless.